by Unique Gemini's. Uh, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general a weekly focus reading for all of my uh, Unique Gemini's for the week of November 1st uh, through November 7th, uh, 2015. All right, so let's get right into your uh, reading, uh, Gemini's. Um, seems like it's a pretty interesting week. I'm feeling some of this energy for some of you that I, I'm reading for. And keep in mind, please, that this, uh, these messages are going to resonate with some of you, but not all of you. But I'm picking up some energy as I speak um, that some of you are in dealing with or enduring uh, some of the messages I'm about to uh, put out there to you. But anyway, your overall energy is the Page of Cups in the reverse. Uh, the Page of Cups is... Um, Related to an offer, uh, and it could be related to an offer of love uh, and also uh, an offer of a job, possibly a new job that some of my Geminis uh, may be expecting or waiting to hear about. Uh, and then, like I said before, and I'm getting a message, I don't know why, but there's a situation I feel that there is a uh, there may be some of you or at least one of you, at least the message that I'm getting could be um, waiting to give birth, even though I don't have the empress um, to really, you know, uh, speak to me more about a birth, an upcoming birth. But I feel that there is an anticipation or expectation related to a birth that is either um, upcoming, uh, what the page of cups comes up in the reverse to say that there's just going to be a temporary uh delay or setback so either you know this birth impending birth is not going to be on the date that is scheduled for delivery and then i do see a birth occurring uh but it's not on the scheduled uh due date Okay, so those are three messages tied into that energy of the Page of Cups. There's something on offer in terms of a job, a relationship. And in terms of the relationship, I feel that it may be related to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female uh, energies that some of you may be trying to connect with or you're, you know, you're involved in a relationship with. Uh, there's some sort of uh, offer. Uh, also, too, I feel that... Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm getting newness, newness, just newness in terms of an offer of a new love, a new job, a new birth, an addition to a family. Uh, but it's just going to be a minor setback or delay in terms of achieving that or it manifesting uh, your way. So it's good energy uh, for some of the Geminis that I'm reading for. Uh, in your recent past, recent past for me, uh, for this mini read for you is like yesterday going back to about a month. We have the sun, major arcana, and the reverse, major life event. Some of you uh, Geminis that I'm reading for have achieved some sort of minimal uh, success in the upright position. Uh, it would clearly indicate that you have fully achieved success. And I'm going to tie this into all areas of your life since I like to cover uh, in the general reading all areas a relationship some of you have achieved uh, success in terms of a relationship and i see that there was some sort of uh happiness brought on and joy uh related to a relationship uh maybe it was uh you know single gemini's who connected with someone within the past month um and that brought on some joy and some happiness and that's also about um, a success so that's if that's the case then you know I'm happy for you also I see that there was some sort of uh, minimum uh, success in terms of some of the Gemini's work environment uh, there may be ha you know excuse me there may have been some sort of promotion or transfer or whatever but there was some sort of happiness uh, and joy and minimum uh, success in your recent past for some of you that I am reading for um, very good if that's the case also in the middle of the week we have the strength card another major arcana in the reverse is the major life event and i feel that some of you who may have uh, had to endure with any struggles or battles um from your recent past or you know 
any issues that crop up uh, for you during this week, you'll feel like you don't have the strength to endure. But I'm, the message is that you do. And all you have to do is just um, face or own up to whatever is presented to you and that you will overcome it. You do have the strength. Again, I'm getting um, not only am I getting water signs uh connected to gemini i'm also picking up fire sign energies as well leo sagittarius aries male or female so it could be a situation that you're involved in um you know related to a relationship or it could be you know someone that you work with that's a fire sign or it could be just a family member uh, but you do have the strength to overcome anything that is presented to you this week um and moving forward the last card that i have for you uh gemini is the nine of cups in the uh, reverse um even in the reverse this is the wish fulfillment card so any wish that you had or have will be fulfilled but then again i'm taking it back to this page of cups where i said that there's going to be a minor delay um in something related to a relationship but I see at the end of the week, there, there's going to be some sort of uh, celebrating and uh, emotional fulfillment. Uh, I tie it in with the sun, the nine of cups with the sun. When I said that in your recent past, that some of you have achieved minimal uh, success in terms of relationships, possibly a new job or a promotion, pay raise. Um, and then I just see an addition to a family uh, coming up for some of you. Um, but even in the reverse, the nine of cups is all about um wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled granted anything that you hoped or wished to get it's like the star card but it's it's not so you know as significant as the star card because the um once the major arcana show up they are you know more powerful than the uh cards underneath them so the nine of cups is still a good card emotionally um for some of the gemini's that i'm reading for that there is going to be and maybe because of the at least the one message that I have because of this birth that I keep seeing um, can't celebrate just yet because the due date may have been pushed back or postponed and then connecting with someone in terms of a relationship may have been pushed back or postponed. But at the end, um, all of that is going to um, bring you to a point of celebration. with either an addition of a family or connection with someone new in terms of a love and relationship or a, um, an impending job that you were hoping to get and it comes through there's some celebration some some strong celebration that um, I'm picking up in terms of all areas for my Gemini's love work family and going into the middle of the week, as I spoke to you about, um, some of you may feel like you don't have the strength to endure. It could just be your mindset, but uh, you do have the strength and you will achieve and overcome anything that is brought your way. And then by the end of the week, you have the nine of cups to celebrate uh, with family and friends about possibly from your recent past, some sort of uh, minimal uh, success. Uh, related to a, a connection to uh, someone new or possibly um, a job that has come through that you were hoping and, and wanting to get, which um, will be paying more dividends for you. I just see some of my Gemini's at the end of the week just being emotionally happy and fulfilled uh, because it seems like their wishes, whatever you wish for, whatever you hope to get, becomes your reality so i hope that is beneficial and i hope that is the case for some of you anyway i have chosen um healing uh angel oracle card to support your reading and i have chosen for you vision and on this card it says a positive outcome requires a positive vision visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love make sure to include yourself as well 
Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. So that's a very powerful message to support your reading for the week, uh, Gemini's, and I hope it's beneficial uh, to some of you. Okay, so this ends your reading. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. Uh, in the uh, description box, there will be um, the names of the decks that I use for your reading and also a link to my uh, new website if there is anyone interested in securing a reading uh, with me. Uh, so uh, I want to wish all of my uh, unique Geminis a very safe and blessed upcoming week ahead. Till the next time, I wish you all, <laughs> excuse me, love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.